Carol Lenko. Andre left to right. Parker down court, faking grab, he's pushing up, blocked by Karolinko. Well, he's on the glass. Oh, the ice one side, Karolinko. Knife his way in there, throw it up and in. Got it, it's foul. Karolinko. Karolinko, he'll get the last shot. Goal! Game. Oh. What's up, YouTube? This is Jordan. I'm back in a video kind of big body banger 23 video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, roll to 6K. I'm saying today, I am the Bill Dilla on your local corner. And I'm coming out with this Andre Kirilenko new video. Yes, sir, this was requested. So, here it is today. I get a time with this build as always. I don't even know what I just said. I had a good time with this build as always, you know what I'm saying? You know, Andre Kirilenko is always interesting in making 2K. You know, obviously he was a dynamic player in his uh, playing days. And on top of that, he had, in my opinion, probably the greatest nickname of all time. You know, you got Iceman, you got Air Jordan, you got all that. But this man's nickname was literally his initials and the number on his shirt. And I'm not going to say it just because I don't want YouTube to center it around this. You know, I don't go that way, you know, like this, this ain't about this ain't about that. You know what I mean? But without further ado, let's get right to the ask for you for this Andre Kirilenko video. So as you see, is a power forward right handed. I made him six foot nine, 235 pounds with a seven four wingspan and a solid body shape is all accurate from the height to the weight to the wingspan. Now for his attributes, I'm going to put his close shot up to an 80. I'm going to put his driving lip up to an 88. I'm going to put his driving duck up to a 68. And then I'm going to put his pull control all the way up to a 82. Now, for his shooting, obviously, you know, man's could shoot in his playing time. So I'm going to put his mid-range shot up to an 84. And then for his three-point shot, I'm going to put it up to an 83. For his playmaking, I'm going to put his pass accuracy up to a 65. I'm going to put his ball handling up to an 80. Then I'm going to put his speed ball up to a 71. For his defense, this is obviously his bread and butter. Man's was a great defender, like average two plus blocks, one plus deals for most most of his career. I'm gonna put his interior defense up to an 80, his perimeter defense up to a 70, his steal rating up to an 85, which will give you silver glove, his block rating up to an 87, which will give you silver anchor, and I'm gonna put his defense rate up to an 80, and put his offense rate up to a 75. For his physicals, I'm going to put his speed at a 75. I'm going to put his acceleration at a 73. Put his strength up to a 70. Then I'm going to put his stamina all the way up to a 90 and put his vertical up to a 75. Now I have extra attribute points. So what I'm going to do is put 10 toward free throw, right? And then on top of that, I'm going to add 55 to a standing dunk. And lastly, I'm going to uh, plus one on block. I believe it's what block, steal, and offense rebound if i'm not mistaken that's what i plus wanted on um but i'm showing you the variations of how you could uh spread out your points you know you could put it all to a perimeter defense but i decided to put it all toward a block steal and offense rebound just to make my rings just a little bit better and then the rest toward free throw so you see this is pretty much the final build man so like comment and subscribe if you are new you see it's a very versatile build it can get the job done in more ways than one that was a bar that was a bar that was a bar you can't lie that was a bar but if you want higher perimeter defense, just take one off of your block rating and then you can put the rest toward perimeter defense, which will uh, put you in that 76 category. So I'm going to show you the uh, version of it with better perimeter defense because I did. Like, I think it's useful to have a build that can guard one through five. You know what I mean? But like I said, this is the build. Copy down these stats. You see the takeovers I go with stuff blocks and spot up precision. But I have access to shot creating, sharpshooting, rim protecting, 
in post scoring takeovers, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. You see, like, you have a wide range to choose from. So, yeah. Now, in the shades of, I get the one, the only, Andre Kirilenko. Like, like, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. I also get Evan Mobley and Kevin Durant, which is kind of interesting. But hey, and you see, I built a three level score. Honestly, that Evan Mobley comparison is actually very, like, accurate that kevin Durant comparison <laughs> um sure yeah i'll take it i'll take it but you see the bash spread is a pretty balanced bash spread now for up to me i would put two of the badges to uh playmaking which will give you tier three playmaking badges and allow you to have access to clan breaker and then i honestly just put the rest either toward defense or shooting you know i think you already have enough defensive badges to so just put the rest toward shooting and you should be set on that now with this bill it was a very very versatile build like, i could literally get up and down the court you know i got a lot of rebounds in the game as well so i was able to just get the board and then just start the fast break myself since my ball handling was high enough and my speed rating was high enough uh to get to my spots and additionally it's a six foot nine build that can post score and shoot so you could play three and d with this build if you want to you could guard one through five right or you could honestly just post up you know you have an 80 what two post control it is so you have a wide type of versatility with this build you know just like andre karolinko in real life you know andre could shoot he could dunk he could pass for real like he was a great like flashy passer obviously only averaged like three assists two assists in his career which is why i gave him such a like a relatively low pass accuracy but man's was always making the right pass you know man's obviously was a defensive player of the year caliber type of defender you know in terms of his blocking his stealing like everything that he did for that that Utah Jazz team, everything that he did was beneficial to them winning, you know, whether it was playing that hard nosed defense, you know, whether it was playing great offense, making the right play, making the right cut, you know, he didn't make many mistakes, you know, and that's why I guess in those years they did have some success, you know. Um, obviously, it is a little bit sad that, you know, you, you see these types of players that are kind of generational and they don't really get the results that you think they should get right in their career but regardless you know mans did change the game you know he's definitely one of those uh forwards that did change what it means to be a forward you know but yeah that's pretty much the end of the video make sure like i'm a subscribe we're gonna roll the 6k on saying comment down below any builds y'all want and i'll eventually get to them but until then i'm out like comment, subscribe if you're new peace